You know their opinions, even if you don't know their names. Political cartoonists can boil down a complex political issue with a single picture. It's a really powerful media. Matt King sat down with an artist who proves the pencil can be mightier than the sword. Snap open any newspaper on any given day in 2017, and one's eyes eventually find their way to a caricature of a certain elected leader with a distinctive hairdo. He's just so flamboyant and so... Uh so captivating. Cartoonist Jeff Danziger confessed to some Trump fatigue after months spent drawing the same man every day, but also admitted this new administration's left him wanting not for creative inspiration. No, you roll out of bed and uh, somebody's done something stupid. Born into a family of artists and letter writers, Danziger started drawing cartoons in the margins of various documents as a child, continuing through college and a tour in Vietnam where he won both a Bronze Star and an Air Medal before returning to the United States and a job as a political cartoonist for a local paper in Vermont. The first responsibility is to be amusing or humorous or interesting, and, and the second responsibility is to be at least somewhat close to the facts. If it's done right, it's beyond language. That's why cartoonists around the world have been murdered in the Middle East. They've been thrown into prison. Columbia University professor and publisher emeritus of the nation, Victor Navasky, wrote The Art of Controversy, Political Cartoons and Their Enduring Power, and says caricature arrived in this country with the first settlers, but flexed its influence most famously in the 1800s when lampooning New York City politician Boss Tweed, who failed to hide how much the cartoons bothered him. I don't care what the newspaper articles they print about me, but get rid of those damn pictures because my constituents can't read, but they can't help seeing those damn pictures. The influence of those pictures bestow upon the minds and pencils of the cartoonist a unique power, whether David Levine drawing Johnson with a scar of Vietnam or Herb Block showing a slimy, unshaven Nixon emerging from a sewer. Nixon could never live that down. We like these guys that are really amusing in themselves because they actually, they set the joke up. And so the political and cultural ascendancy of Donald Trump and his wave of golden hair. Caricature is important, but it's not the only thing. Have ushered in a wealth of material and perhaps a golden age for political cartoonists. Danziger, whose drawings run in major daily newspapers all around the world, pointed to the Pulitzer Prize winning cartoonist Pat Oliphant's decision to unretire at the age of 81. He's the best there is, and now he's been lured back by, by Mr. Trump. Images are more prevalent than ever, and people have less attention spans. They remain fun, not only to see, but it's fun to do them. In Hell's Kitchen, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.